All right, so we have a special treat for our Red Wine Club members this month because y'all are not able to have the orange wine that we um, created with Joe Swick. So we got you guys the highly allocated, hard to get, super fun and gluggable faints from Ruth Lewandowski. I felt like that was a good substitute um, for the orange Riesling that we decided to make with Swick. Still a U.S. producer, really young, yummy, young, fun wine. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. Um, it is actually made of 30, or a little over 30% white grape. So technically this one's a co-ferment um, with a bunch of different Northern Italian grapes like Nebbiolo, Arne, Arnis is the white one. Uh, is it Barbera? Hang on, let me just pull it up real quick so I won't be false. Dolcetto, Barbera, Nebbiolo, Arnis, and a tiny bit of multiple Luciano as well. Um, and it went through carbonic maceration. Um, so if you've had this one in the past, it's a little different each year, uh, but really yummy, like <laughs> just the glue glue uh, traditional style from, from uh, Evan Lewandowski. All right, so on the nose, it smells crunchy. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's like the first thing that comes, like I know it's gonna like be like this delicious crunchy cranberry juice style thing. Um, that's because I've had a, a bunch, but also because it's just, that's the first thing that smells like. Um, it honestly does have like that deep fruit character to it though. Like it does, you know, these are, these are grapes that are normally used to make really heavy wines or tannic wines, at least with the Nebbiolo and Dolcetto can get pretty heavy. Um, so I'm getting, oh, there's so much on it. It's like honestly so complex for a glue glue style wine. So initially it's like plums and bright cherries and like blueberries, blackberries, like it's just a little bit of everything, which makes sense because it is such a blend. But now let's put it on the palate. Oh yes. So this definitely has the Von Vivant quality to it, like that like tiny little spritziness to it. The wine's still definitely alive and doing stuff in the bottle, which is great. And that's honestly one of the most addicting qualities about really well-made natural wine. Um, so you certainly get it with that. And then I actually ignored the rest because I was noticing that this bottle had that. So let's try again. So yes, super crunchy. Um, leaner than I thought it would be in the mouth. Like it's not super round or anything. And then uh, the fruit I would say is like brighter and more acidic, uh, maybe more like red cherries and like dark cherries on, on the palate. Um, honestly, mine might have a teeny hint of VA, um, which is volatile acidity and that's okay. Um, like I'm enjoying it in this bottle. Sometimes it can be too much and it's like nail polish remover. Um, but this is just like a lovely, <laughs> a lovely amount with the little bit of like spritziness that comes with it. And if you do have that, just let it sit. Like if, it, it, if you're not enjoying that, just let it sit um, for a little bit and that should blow off. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it and knowing that about it, I would pair it with something that is itself a bit acidic. So like like a lemon chicken or basically something if you can put like a citrus with it, like, oh man, like now I just want like Chinese food with it. Like whatever, is it like sweet and sour sauce or like the orange chicken, like any or all of that would be so good with this. Or like a duck, the duck with the orange thing, that could be good. But like, you don't wanna get too fancy with it. You know, <laughs> like I'm not highly recommending like Panda Express or anything like that, but just like your regular like, uh, Chinese food next door. I would not do something spicy with it. Definitely don't go that route. Um, but that's the type of style that I'm thinking about. Basically something that plays on citrus. Uh, or again, something I love to go back to mango salsa, but you know, like pork with mango salsa could be great here too. So great by itself. Um, and yeah, I'll also put this one in the category of like plays really nicely with foods. So your drunk, drunk foods chicken nuggies as sometimes I say, or your pizzas, like also gonna work, especially like non-fancy Italian food, like a calzone or a pizza would work here. Don't go pasta, but like, because these are Italian grapes, like it will work 
well with non-fancy Italian, like an Italian sub sandwich or something like that. So there's a ton of options and now I'm just making myself hungry, but <laughs> enjoy it. We love this wine.